Hello Minecrafters out there, my name is Fape and welcome back to episode 76 on the Survival Inc. server. And today we finally will get to build some little stables for our horses. Because... Oh. <laughs> Oh, it would have been so bad if that would happen again. I don't want to die anymore falling from the cathedral. Um, anyways, um, I, some of you guys requested the stables for quite a few episodes now. I saw it a few times of, yes, a few times in the comments I would say. And I want to build them up here. Right next to the pig pen and windmill. I think that's a good place and I want to try and use the slope a little bit to my advantage. I have a nice design I think. It looked pretty cool to me and we're gonna need a lot of wood again. So I would suggest let's just start out with placing some logs like we do usually. Um, three, one, two. Of course I've prepared some screenshots at least. That might even be a little too high. Well, well, we'll see later. Let's first of all put the basic shape down. Okay, we got another one here and another one here. And then we'll go around the corner. And we'll have pillars here. One, two, three. Here and here. I didn't do much um, back there because yesterday the server was down because we had a crash, uh, yeah, server crash earlier, and a few chunks of the world got corrupted, and we had to wait for for John and Code to fix this up. Is that enough? One, two, three. I think that's enough. Yep, yeah, it is. And then we'll have one, two, three, four. Five, then we'll go up here again quite a bit and then we'll have even another three one two three and go up all the way down here and this the stables will be at least at least partially on pillars and I plan on using um, the area below those pillars uh, maybe as kind of storage for the hay for the for the horses so maybe put some hay bales down there but we'll see when we get to this. First of all, we need the rough structure to be laid out. One, two, three. Yep, that should do it. Wait a sec. Ah, okay, mistake. Already the first mistake, that happens quick. Tim borrowed me his X for this purpose. Efficiency five, unbreaking three X, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, he borrowed it to me to gather some wood and I'll use it to build the stable here as well. You might have noticed something, um, a few of you guys were requesting a new intro for with the newer builds for the series, um, but sadly the shaders mod that I use, one, two, three, um, is not completely updated yet, it's in, still in beta for 1.6.2 and there are a few bugs with it, sadly, um, that don't show the water texture or the water movement really good. And this is kind of bugging me, especially since the opening scene is pretty much only water. Um, and I want to keep kind of that opening scene because I really like that. Coming to the island from far further away. And it's not going to work with the current water bug, so I have to wait until that get fixed. And in addition to that, um, the shaders are still not compatible with the 1.6 Optifine edition. And that all together just prohibits me from recording um, a new intro and what I did in this intro here I used a little bit of older footage I had from my um, channel trailer maybe some of you guys have seen it before they subscribe to me on my channel page YouTube um, offers interview with this new design the, the trailer for unsubscribed people so when unsubscribed people first hit your channel they see a special kind of video on the front page and in my case, that is a... Uh, I did it again, didn't I? That is a um, 50 second, I think a 50 second trailer. And I had some, some footage of this village with shaders in the background. And I figured why not use this 
just for now for the intro so I, we have at least a partially new intro and as soon as the shaders will get fixed I will add more I will make more footage and add some of the even newer builds to the, uh, to the to the intro now it's just the cathedral there maybe we'll get a nice shot of the arena as well and of the colorful part of town that would be quite cool I hope I'm doing this still right but yeah I'm pretty sure I did so that is our our ground floor where the horses will be right there and everything below here is kind of a basement I want to keep it open to the outside so kind of an open basement where we can put some hay bales and stuff I have to get rid of at least part of this mountain is good at three for now we don't need it um, but yeah so that is the basic plan for my horse stables so we're gonna have it one two three high as usual then connect it back up but and this is not um, like the usual buildings I think this is kind of a new style not too new but it is something new I hope it will fit in here with the other houses um, it should shouldn't be too much of a problem um, but yeah <sighs> keep making the same mistakes over and over again all right I'm probably gonna do this this uh, scaffolding off camera but uh, I wanted to check out something ETM said uh, he left a gift for me and when he first said it I thought he meant this emerald block up in the sky at the live stream but uh, apparently he didn't mean that he said I would find it on my way to the portal and I wasn't there yet um, as I told you the server was off yesterday so let's look if we can see what he meant oh what the hell <laughs> how was I not able to see this what it's so big and I was on a cathedral I was everywhere and I didn't see this giant thing here and Tim apparently didn't see it either he didn't say a word wow what is that <laughs> and when did he leave it a real champion has to have one of these <laughs> wow a tennis field what the hell I don't get the reference a real champion I don't know what he's getting at but <laughs> why the hell oh okay I know what he's getting at now <laughs> um, some of you guys might have missed it and I actually didn't want to talk about it because it was kind of a, um, a reward for the guys getting on the live stream but I showed my face the first time on the live stream I made um, a little face cam that was actually the surprise I had announced for the live stream before and <laughs> uh, I think code was it or maybe it was ETM someone said uh, I was totally look like Boris Becker and I don't think that's a point at all <laughs> I think he was kind of joking me with that here with the the tennis field oh man <laughs> oh ETM I have to get rid of it now yeah I, I'm well see maybe I can do another live stream on this Saturday again and yeah maybe we'll have to face cam again I had some technical issues because this face cam is kinda old and the open broadcaster software um, had some problems controlling it so it didn't work out perfectly but oh well maybe we'll get it again maybe we'll have some more viewers this live stream and we can can have some more fun together alright that's a prank I suppose um, but now I would suggest I'll get on building the raw structure here and I will check back with you guys once I'm done with that <laughs> okay Tim didn't see it but apparently um, Jacob saw it who just joined anyways um, we are good for the structure that's the basic structure um, I want to have it four high in here so we can ride through this hallway without bouncing our head in there and um, I think we're gonna have a dirt ground here for the horses so we're gonna have four stables since we have uh, two horses and two donkeys on this island I don't think there will be any new ones at least not anytime soon because I personally don't like to um, 
don't like horses too much as a as a as a transportation method. I prefer other stuffs most of the time. Let me see. I think I had something like that where I put down the the fences. <laughs> yep. Tim is having fun as well. <laughs> I wondered the exact same thing. How could I not see this? Man, I'm running through this wood again. It's, it's so crazy. I'm already on my last stack. I really hope it will be enough. Since I have the main part of the structure already done, it should be enough. So let's first of all finish the stables off. So the horses can't... So we can put our horses in. At least at the end of this episode. I hope we can finish it. I might have to do more off-camera work when when we are running out of time, but let's grab some of those guys here. I definitely want to show you guys the roof, cause the roof is something new, at least partially. We're gonna have some fence gates in here as well, but to divide the, to separate the horses, we'll have some fences and some some pl um, half slabs so they can't jump over. The same thing on every every side. I should probably not waste the time doing repetitive things. I should probably show you guys what I'm up to just in one booth and then then just repeat it on the other sides. What I'm gonna use for the outside wall is stone brick for kind of the highlight. First of all I built it fully out of wood and it didn't really look too good, just a brown color so I tried to come up with other other colors and other materials to put in. I think wood works out quite well and what we'll have is kind of a big fence window outside so the horses can have a nice view outside. Then we'll have uh, fences here and we'll have a fence gate in the, in the center to get out. Um, horses of course can't get through um, a one white fence gate but we can jump in with the horses and then just walk out as a person. I think that's how we're gonna do it. As I told you I don't want to use them too much anyways. We're gonna have the same window style on this side here as well. And what else is there to show you guys? Probably gonna finish this off and then we are gonna do the, the sides of the stables. One more update report over here. Um, we got the stables. Oh, let me quickly say bye for Tim. We got the, the stable interior pretty much done. Still some fences missing and some fence gates. Uh, what I was mainly working on is the basement here. And I think it's a really nice feeling. It's only too high, which gives it a good feeling. And yeah, we want to use that for as a storage for some hay bales. So let's just put random hay bales in here. That should work out pretty good, I think. Uh, it's kind of hard to make him really look random, but we'll get it. We we get the feeling, I think. I think that should work. Maybe some more over here. And like that. Let's have a look. Don't want to waste them all. Yeah, I think that looks kind of cool. Looks really like kind of a storage for them. I like that. And now let's um, see what we can do with this side over here. I want to add some more detail to it. Let's first of all make some of those sticking out of the wall. That always helps a little bit. And over here. And then we're gonna go up even one more on those. And what I want to do is add some stone, um, cobblestone walls like that and maybe all the way up. So now we have to figure out how I want the roof to be. Um, not too sure about, uh, well I am sure about that but not too sure where I want to start. I think let's do it here and I brought some of the stairs. Yeah that, that, should, that should work. Two of them here so we can Pull these on and the next one should face to the outside so let's try if we can yeah that works and then I think I come out with that one over here yeah further out even 
and wait a sec is that right it doesn't feel right I think I need to go down one and come out like that come on let me place it will ya yeah and this one will go up and then we'll have um, nothing in here and then more wood on top for the roof alright and now we have to mirror this design over here so we want to get rid of one of those and instead make that face out and then like that and then we'll have our two stairs if I can find them there they are is that right I don't think that's right yeah we have to do it the other way around we have to come out here that is the center and that is the oh no oh what are you doing man I'm trying to build in some nice stables here and where did you spawn anyways come on get out of my life <laughs> thank you yeah it's kind of confusing because I'm not used to this new new style here with all those locks sticking out but I think it should work like that we can get rid of this one then we'll have the stairs like so again like on the other side we can go up here and we'll have the one facing to the front like so and then we have already one up there and we want to have two more and this is our roof shape so we have kind of a round roof shape not the typical pointy roof so kind of a, like a barn a little rounder I think that will work out um, I'm missing something don't I first of all let's add those in and let's step back have a look yeah I'm missing a lock on that edge and something in the center I think I had some recessed uh, planks in there so let's see if we can get that going first of all place this one and oh I know what I did I had some more f cobblestone f um, walls in here and I don't have let's make some real quick it should be enough to hide the, the space we have behind so that's the, the one wall of our of our stables and I think it looks kind of cool it's really busy and a lot of detail into it it's, it's it's kind of a new style but I think it fits in here good enough um, all right I'm gonna uh, more or less mirror the side uh, this side on this side over here the only difference is that we are gonna have where are my logs we are gonna have um, a wider entry over here which will be three wide and like that I think yeah and then we'll have the same style with the wood logs here one two come out again I think the bottom one was facing upwards yeah face no nope. dang it facing out facing up go up and facing out so that will be our our entry I will have to build a path out of here maybe along this mountain maybe up here to meet up with our small pathway we got going over here for yeah to get out with the horses it's not too much of a problem because the horses can walk up the hill straight without any use of half slaps so they should be able to get up there without bigger problems but yeah let me finish the side over here and work a little bit more and then we're gonna start with the roof this is it the interior done I added a few lighting uh, posts here some torches I uh, graveled the ground have a few um, batches of grass still in here it looks kind of cool the pathway is not done yet but this side here as you can see it's not completely symmetric because this one is five wide and this is only three wide but I think it worked out quite well and let's start with the roof and then we'll have a look from a little further away um, as I told you the roof should be kind of curved Tim left his horse here I think he locked off yeah he locked off he had something else to do I'm gonna use the the new roof style again uh, at least from the uh, of the block types um, that I used on the lime greenhouse back there so we're gonna have um, an oak wood border 
and the spruce wood roof basically <laughs> so let's try and implement that um, we are gonna need a few of those here as well let's hope we don't need the axe right now should be good it's not too hard so we got this one going over here then we'll have the top roof like that and we'll have it stand out a little bit and then we just oh dang it first mistake <laughs> uh, I can't place blocks without any mistakes all right let's do <laughs> oh, just don't say anything just don't say anything and then we'll have pretty much the same um, here again another stair then we'll have the plank again and then we'll have stairs all the way down just like that and this will be our roof shape and border out of oak wood again it's nice and curvy and I wanna have some kind of window over here as well I should have some more logs somewhere okay so I want to do the same thing um, over here oh this is already the top wait a sec oh I think I made a mistake yep we need um, another we need more fence posts in here I'll put them in later let's put these in for now and then we'll have one two and the second should face to the outside again let's see if we can get that going man my inventory management the hotbar should be double as big as she as it is because <laughs> you always have to change blocks around when you're building but well we'll have to live with it I suppose okay let's try this again like so then get that pointing in the front and like that then we'll get rid of this, put a fence in there later for a nice big roof window and then we should be good. So let's try if we can figure it out. Um, I think this one is already like that. Then we'll have it like that. Of course this should be a spruce wood stair and then we have the same same design like we have on the on the sides of the building. Let me get those back on the bar and then some more stairs. It's kind of hard to build those those roofs actually because you have to switch so many between so many blocks. It's hard to keep the overview. All right, then like that and then we'll have it sticking out one. Then we'll just connect it so we have an idea where it's going to lead us like that and then around the corner over here all right I think you get an idea of the basic shape of the roof and I'm gonna finish the rest and then we'll have a final look ah beautiful sunrise that's it guys I'm finished with our stables project um so let's get Tim's horse first does it have where's the leash did it break free seems like it broke free that still happens huh oh well um, so come on let me get in there what's what's up can't get in there right what is your problem <laughs> is it it is beautiful don't you want to live in there I know you are kind of used to roaming around free but hey come on try it at least <laughs> what's up with that guy why is he not able to go in there? Come on. Am I stuck somehow? Let me get it. Okay, let's just, let's try this again, guy. Nope. Doesn't want to get in there at all. Wow, I never had that. Oh, maybe he is still leashed. Ah, alright. He is still leashed. That's why he didn't want to go in there. <laughs> he would have suffocated when the leash tightens around his, his neck. All right. Oh, oh. Okay, you're in here now, and I can get out. Awesome. First horse. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. No, I simply wanna open. Oh, do I have some more hay bales? Maybe we can give you guys some uh, some hay bale in here. 
Uh, just like that. That should be good. So I have some food now. And I need your saddle because we are going on a hunt for the rest of the horses that are roaming around somewhere on this island here. But I think that looks really nice. Let's have a look from a little further away this, down this road here. So we, I think we can get a good look from back here. I think that looks really cool. I really like the style of that, that stables. Alright, let's see if we can find him. I saw one horse near the graveyard. Um, I don't know, a few episodes ago. The dark brown horse should be around here somewhere. Although they wander off quite a distance when you're not looking out for them. Let's have a look down here maybe. In the cathedral. Nope, didn't want to visit the cathedral. <laughs> Sometimes they do that. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Hey, and you even have a saddle. Come on, I have a new home for you where you can't wander off all the time. How did you even get here? No, nope. not in the water. Water's not good for horses. Oh, no. Don't you dare. Get out of here. Wow. Don't want a drowning horse. All right. Let's see how accessible the stables are with the horses here. Let's try and go around this way. That should work. Oh, up here. Don't suffocate me, please. Thank you. Let's get it in here. All right, and you will be in the second stable. Perfect. You will get a few hay bales as well. So you have enough food. Maybe I should put a cauldron in here for some, some water. All right, now let's find the two donkeys on the island. This will be a little bit harder because I haven't seen those in a while. I'm pretty sure one is in the hole um, beneath the, the arena. I saw him while building that. But where the other one is, I have no clue at all. This episode might run a bit, little bit long. I hope you are fine with that because we are on the, on the quest for our donkeys. Let's see, there's our shipyard. There's one. Hello, donkey. That was kind of easy. Um, let's settle you and let's transport you back to the stables. And we have just one more to go. And then we should be good. Oh, taking the harbor away, obviously. Down the stairs. Come on. You can do it. And let, let's try if we can get um, through the small entrance of the stables with a horse as well without taking damage. It would be kind of interesting to know. All right, we're gonna ride through the melon pumpkin fields like a boss. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Yes, it is possible, awesome. So we can get a boss both ways. So let's get him in there. All right, donkey number one in here. We should maybe name him. Have you guys any ideas, suggestions for a name maybe? <laughs> we don't have any name tags, I have to tell you that. But we could put a sign in the stables at least and name the, those guys. Should go caving outside of the outside of the already pre 1.6 area sometime soon. Let's see if that was the donkey in the hole or if it was the other one. I hope it was the other one because that would make it kind of easy to get the last donkey. The hole should be no that's not the hole i think it's over here hello oh yes indeed there he is awesome that worked out smoothly no no uh, how do i get out how do i get you out of here let's try this i might take a little bit of damage but all right got it everything under control all right so let's get that guy back into his new home and then we are finally able to end this episode with an awesome new project <laughs> oh man i really like this stable i really think it, it turned a lot um it turned out a lot better than i anticipated first i was kind of scared of this stable project oh man are you stuck come on you can do it i was kind of scared of the stable project um because there are a lot of awesome stables already out there but I think that worked out pretty good. I'm pleased with it. Let me know what you guys think. 
it's, it's at least it's a lot harder to get in there on this side. But we have two sides, so we might as well use them. There we go. Last donkey in the house. And we have a full house. Perfect. Awesome, guys. Let's head up to the cathedral. And let's see if we can um, observe our new achieved goal from up there. You know what? Let's try if we can get up here from now. Of course not with just one, but we could make it up there with two ender pearls. Hit the cross, hit the cross! Ah! I messed it up. Let's use a dirt block. And... Not visible. A little bit, a little bit. But I think that fits in here well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please feel free to leave a like as always. And I hope to see you all next time. So have a nice day. And seriously guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.